Hello everyone, Dr. David Culler here with a new case that's important. We haven't done a video on this before. We've done videos on cold laser therapy and epilepsy, and be sure to check that video out. With a young lady with epilepsy, we were able to slow down the seizures she was having, the dizziness and the headaches, and that was a case from a long time ago. But now we have a woman here, we won't mention any names, but she had three strokes in the same day, back right? Back. Yeah. back to back in the same day at the hospital, right? Yes. Uh, well, the first stroke, it was in 2014, so about nine years ago. It's now start of 2024 while we're filming this video, but nine, ten years ago, three strokes back to back, and she had yeah, all left-sided uh, complaints, and ankle turns in on the left, but we're gonna focus on the arm because you can see that a little bit better. Her arm is sort of stuck in this bent position. She can't supinate her elbow or her hand. Okay, she cannot straighten her arm. She's got a loss of feeling, right? And sensation. A lot of pain. A lot of pain yes. in the hands. Yeah, but after two sessions of uh, laser, I don't have pain on the finger anymore here. Okay, so she said that after two laser sessions, she doesn't have any finger pain. Now, I have not lasered her fingers, but if you um, look at her fingers, um, zoom in a little bit closer, and um, you can see um, her fingers are not flat, right? So the pip joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, is in hyperextension, okay? and all this is from the stroke. So yes, she's going through exercises to try to um, make fists, extend her hand, straighten her elbow out. All of those exercises are important for her, but the laser does something very unique. So I will explain that here in just a second in what we're doing. So we're gonna start out and we use five to 50 hertz with the laser because all we wanna do, not all we wanna do, but mostly what we wanna do is open up and vasodilate all the blood vessels, get more blood flow to um, the arms and from the head, from the brain. So we're gonna do some spots on the brain, on the right side of her brain because it's the left side of the body that's been affected. And then also we're gonna do some areas um, here in the thoracic outlet to increase blood flow. And um, it's not just increasing blood flow. I will go over that in just a second. We're gonna just get her set up. So just relax there. Now it also depends on where the person had the stroke too. You wanna uh, you know, get a full report, find out where the stroke happened. There's many different types of strokes. Now what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna do five to 50 Hertz and because she has dark hair, it makes it more difficult, right? If she had blonde hair, it would be, and don't go dye your hair blonde, it's okay. Um, <laughs> but um, blonde hair, the lighter colors are easier to penetrate. So if she had like white pants on, I would be able to penetrate through that easier than a dark blue or a black pair of pants. So obviously the darker hair is an issue, but the light still penetrates through that. So what I do is I try to kind of move her hair out of the way and, and get some bald spots, believe it or not. No, nope, just leave that down. Kind of get some bald areas for lack of better words. So not only um, does this increase blood flow to the area, but it oxygenates the brain. And when you bring more blood flow to an area, you're oxygenating the area as well, right? And that's what we need, more blood, more oxygen to the left side of her body. We're also reducing inflammation of all the neurotransmitters. So neuro anti-inflammation, very important in the brain and also here in her thoracic outlet. And I mean, she's had, I think even after the first treatment, you noticed your hand was getting better, correct? Yes. Yeah. So and that's only gonna get- Moving better, see? And it's it moving was, better? It was okay. like, like that, and now it's- kind Yeah, of you're able to- very good. Yeah, you're able to extend your hand yes, much better. Mm -hmm. And we haven't done, she's doing physical therapy outside of this office. I'm just doing laser therapy for her. But physical therapy is extremely important. I will say this, if you've had a stroke, ideally, if you can get laser done immediately after the stroke, you are gonna have even better results. Um, 
10, 50 fold even, especially the sooner you do it, the better. So after you've had a stroke, the sooner you do this cold laser therapy treatment, the better. And the beauty is it's safe. It's perfectly safe. So there's nothing to worry about. Oh my God, I just had a, a stroke. I get it. You're scared. Um, a stroke can be extremely scary, especially when you lose use of, of a limb or parts of your body because of it, or even your speech, right? So let's say she had lost her speech. I would actually be lasering a different part of her brain. I would be lasering one side of the brain where the Broca's area is, okay? The Broca's area controls our speech. Now, for many people, the Broca's area is on the left side. Broca's area of the brain, we would go over that. She's not having any speech issues. All of her issues are physical on that left side of the body. So that's why you're seeing me do this here on the right side of the brain. And we're gonna do a few spots here. And again, this is gonna reduce all the neural toxins and the inflammation, the neural inflammation. It's also gonna increase blood flow, vasodilate blood vessels. And as you can see, um, because of that, we've been able to increase her range of motion in her fingers and also reduce the pain into her hands and fingers. And that's pretty much it. Now you'll see here, I've got two lasers going. So what I'm gonna do is circle this laser back to the cervical spine. Yep, so I'm gonna get like all the branches of the nerves, C5, C6, C7, T1, which are all the nerves, the brachial plexus that controls her entire arm. So I'm gonna laser there along the neural roots there in the spine. Again, the brain on the opposite side. And then we're gonna do a few points in the thoracic outlet, in the top of the, the front of the shoulder, the inside of the arm, where she's got a lot of blood vessels. And last but not least, the carpal tunnel region, which is gonna help also more with the hand. And I can't stress this enough. If you or someone you love had a stroke, you wanna do this laser as soon as you can after the stroke. So if you can do it within two, three days after, or a week after, do it. And try to do it daily, or at least three times a week for a couple of weeks. Now we have rental lasers. We, we wanted her to take a rental laser home so she would treat twice a day, so we could get faster results. Because remember, she had these strokes nine years ago. So it would have been ideal if we were able to treat her nine years ago, but since we're not able to do that, no sense in crying over spilled milk. I would prefer that she would take a rental laser home, but she feels more comfortable about for me to treat her and to do the laser treatment, which is fine. So we do that a couple times a week, and in a few weeks, she's done with, I think this is your third session. Is that right? Yeah. So the symptoms, the alleviation of the hand pain and the motion in the hand alone is a big, big jump and a huge win, I think, considering we've only had three treatments. So in a week, two, three more weeks, there's gonna be some big changes. And maybe she'll let us do a follow-up video so we can show you guys how she's doing a couple weeks from now. Thanks for tubing in. If you guys have any questions about stroke and about the use of cold laser therapy with strokes, you can certainly go online and Google it and you will find a lot of research. There's a ton of research going on now with cold laser therapy and stroke patients so much so, uh, really good research too. Be sure to check that out. Don't just believe everything I'm saying. And um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We've got four videos every week coming out. Thanks for tubing in. Appreciate you folks. Mm -hmm.